Okay, so as you can see here, we've um, flashed the firmware onto the my storm. And now we're going to put it into this Amiga. Okay, so the Pi Storm is in there. It's nice and flush. Okay. So the next step is to um, I'm going to put a cable in and connect up to our CM4 board. Okay, so for our cable, we're just going to use this generic cable. There might be better ones out there, but this one here works. Important thing to do is to line it up directly above both. As you can see from there, it should be even 50 50. Um, I'll pause and come back. So here you are with the, the CM4 board. And see, pin one is up here, exactly the same spot where pin one is supposed to be. So realistically, you could have it come down here, but as you can tell, you wouldn't have the keyboard, or, or it wouldn't fit. But you could definitely just put it directly into here. Um, you could make the whole A500 into a case. And you could do a lot of different things, but at this stage we're just going to use this floppy wire, which is probably the worst, but it works. So we'll try it. So how we're going to put it on is since the top right is um, considered pin one, we need to go on like this from underneath. So we match it up from underneath the same way. Basically you put that down like this. Too much damage and line it up and put it on. Okay, so we've got it on. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insulate the back with some just some masking tape, time being, and insulate anything you feel that's could become exposed. So, yeah, just, just going to jab in here for the time being. Get you an idea, and then um, we're going to put in the I/O board. Which I've got on the wrong side. So yeah, the I/O board is going to plug into here. Okay, so we're on. We've done the drive missing light test. We're just going to wait. I think I've got network on boot. But there's definitely signs of life. And there you go. It's booted up. And so this is the second Amiga 500 on first boot with a CM4 using the adapter card. Uh, let's go to the Emu Media. Also, we'll see that immediately it is overclocked as well. Uh, we'll go sys info as well to see the whole system. So there you go. Um, you see, I don't have much RAM. I've got a problem there, but I may as well take advantage. And I'll run some kind of high meg game just to prove. What do we got here? It's 320 by 240. Yeah, don't worry about that. 
So yeah, here you go, you've got it, it's working. No problem. It's starting to get warm. So you probably want a fan on it. Um, but we're running the um, the AJ version of new game selector, but we'll, we'll just run something. You see now we um, So, what are we going to select? Let's go straight to AGA. Let's run something like. That was a good one I saw the other day. Oh, it's on Skid Marks AGA. How about that? Okay, so let's boot them up. I don't think I've got a joystick, so that made me short-lived. But good news, it's all working. And so the CM4, I mean I can use keys. The CM4 in the Mega 500 using a classic Fire Storm running through a cable. And uh, it's only got half a meg chip, but I'm going to use the power of the CM4 to run Let's me. I may not have fire. Oh, load it. Here you go. So I can press start. Loading tracks. Okay, wow. So you go. Um, I wonder what you use to play. Okay, keys. Yes. See, I can still use my Amiga half meg chip RAM. And these clowns. Whoa! So there you go. Operation successful.